Here's Battle. A lob up. And an easy finish by Stevenson. Julian, I think we're going to have a lot of showtime this game. I'm so excited. Wow, look at that lob. Here's Roberts. He'll feed it inside to Ash. Now back to Roberts. Top of the circle, here's Holt. Terrence Holt spotting up for a three, it's good! And that was nothing but the bottom of the net. Good shot, two, three. Six, four, Lang. Driving inside, Stevenson. He's gonna get fouled and he'll go to the free throw line for a pair. Oh man, I, I love how this game is going. Just excellent basketball being played. The intensity. Both teams, they want it. They want it. Michael Michael Stevenson, the senior out of Houston, Texas, at the free throw line for Kentucky State. And the first free throw is good. And the one thing you have to, you know, that, that gets scary, when a team gets hot from three-point, you know, three-point land like Lane, you don't want to get too satisfied with a three-point game. And the second free throw rattles in. We're deadlocked 6-6 six, six here at Lane College. Here's Roberts. Now feeding inside to Holt. Can't finish. A battle for the rebound. And now a timeout's gonna be called by Lane. And a smart play. A smart play to call a timeout. That was Terrence Holt calling the timeout as he slid on the floor. Do you hear this crowd? Do you hear this crowd? You better believe they're into it. Oh, me, oh my. A 30 second timeout. Just four minutes in, and we've got we've got action. It's six six. I knew I knew this game was going to go this way. I knew these teams were going to come out here and play. And the crowd is getting a little bit bigger. It's starting to become standing room only as we have students on the opposite side of the court standing up. Students are showing a great amount of support on a rainy day here in Jackson, Tennessee. As expected. Stevenson will inbound and already a little bit of blood being drawn from Tevin Roberts, the senior out of Memphis, Tennessee. He's being treated. Let's get back to basketball now. They'll tape it up. They'll get back in there. That's a warrior right there. You better believe it. And I'm still expecting him to have a, I'm expecting him to have a really good game. He showed me something the last time I'm seeing him play. The inbound is to Miles Lee. Now back to Stevenson. Stevenson controlling the show on the top of the circle. Now gives it back. This is Holt. And now Holt driving in and an easy finish for Kendarius Ash. And Mr. Ash, he did a good job with tipping, tipping that in. He put himself in a great position to be able to tip the ball in. It's Breeden. Now a feed to the outside. This is Jordan driving inside. And no basket, and it's going to be a shooting foul as Stevenson drove in. That was a great drive there. And now a media timeout, a media timeout. We're going to be back after these messages.
Attention students, basketball season is about to start. Don't miss your chance to be a part of Lane College media team as we cover the game all season long. Welcome back to Lane College. The Lane College Dragons lead eight to six. Michael Stevenson, the senior out of Houston, Texas at the free throw line for Kentucky State as he got fouled. First free throw attempt. We talked about this last game, Julian, with the girls, how important free throw shooting is. And this game could be another one of those games where free throws play as a huge factor. Right, as the first free throw rims out for Stevenson. Stevenson, a senior, and he goes one of two from the free throw line. Here's Roberts, controlling the show on top. Now we've got a timeout for, let's see what the timeout was for. I don't, I'm not sure what that was for. Maybe the shot clock didn't start. Yeah, it looks like the shot clock. I'm looking at the referees looking up. He's still on, okay, yeah, I think they're getting that shot clock together. Yeah, the shot clock is gonna be at 25 seconds. They'll inbound to Roberts, guarded by Jordan. And now he passes it to his imaginary friend who was wide open down <laughs> at, the, at the lane. He'll turn it over. Yeah, I think he was expecting someone to kind of like drift off and get down into the box. But that's not what happened. Here's Jordan guarded by Roberts. Full court pressure. Now ditch it to the outside to battle. A three point shot on the way. That rims out for battle. And here's Stevenson up front court. Make that Kendarius Ash. Ash, a nice feed inside, but it not finish. But Ooh. Ash was able to Control the rebound and put it back in. I tell you what, if they did not score on that drive, this crowd would have went crazy. Wow. Second chance opportunity is already playing a factor in this game. Definitely. You know, that's what that's what the coaches coach. They want to get you, they want that rebound. If they miss it, if we miss it, you got to get the ball. Ray Kroon, the junior out of Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan. At the free throw line, he hits the first free throw. The D-Town is at the free throw line. First attempt rims in. Second is good also. One point lead for Lane. Here's Patrick, Jade Patrick, who just checked in. Guarded by Jordan. Now a feed to Holt. And now he turns it over but they take it right back. And a nice feed inside to Ash, who ditches it out to Miles Lee. Now here's a three-point shot by Miles Lee. And that was a great shot. And I don't know if you guys really seen that, but they were setting it up for a good play that way with the way the ball was moving. And I tell you what, that guy right there, he can shoot the ball. More technical difficulties. We're back to basketball now. Here's Jordan. DeAndre Jordan, or Dorian Jordan. Uh, I, was, I was getting ready to say, Julian, <laughs> is uh, the dude from the Clippers out here? <laughs> Reggie Beeren. Got a battle. Back to Jordan. Jordan driving in and trying to hit the reverse layup. Here's Lane on the other end. Spotting up for a three. That's no good by Miles Lee. And that was a good shot. It was a heat check, but he just couldn't capitalize. And an offensive foul on the other end as Reggie Beeren could not control his speed and knock the defender down. And I know one thing, I'm glad I'm not the person on the ground. I've taken a few of those in my basketball days, which ended like 
six, seven years ago. <laughs> so you did play a little basketball. <laughs> a little bit. Oh, man. You know, as a football guy myself, I stopped my basketball playing uh, middle school, so, you know. Wayne nearly turned it over. It'll stay with Lane. These guys are just playing with so much energy. Kadarius Ash. I thought he was going to shoot it there. I don't think they wanted him to. Now Steele on the other end, and it's no good. But the second chance points are good by Kevin Hayes. Julian, I don't know if I don't know if people caught that, but he avoided the charge. You don't see too many people do that offensively. They avoided the charge. That guy has skills. Yeah. Jade Patrick inside Ash. Nice feed outside Terrence Holt. Spotting up. That's no good. Rebound. Ash rejected by Stevenson. Full court lob. Ray Kroon could not finish. Knocked out of bounds by Jade Patrick. It'll stay with Kentucky State. It is a lot of defense in this game. Defense. Wow. We've got action, as expected. A lot Jordan, of action, indeed. Jordan's going to inbound. Here's Beard. Now to Jordan. Inside feed to Ray Kroon and finishes. I don't know about that one, Julian. I thought he had a, did a good job of keeping his hands up, but the referee was right there on the same different. Ray Kroon finishes from Detroit. They got a chance for a three-point play. On the way, and he's money. One-point lead for Kentucky State. And here's number four who checks in, Ashanti Sanders. He's here's dangerous. Jade Patrick, guarded by Jordan. Patrick, free throw line, Jay, that's no good. Growling the rebound with Stevenson. Jordan, law pass inside, but a push is going to be called against Jalen Lewis. Oh, boy, Julian. These referees are calling this game tight just like the – Last game we just announced. Wow. wow. Feet to the outside. Here's Kroon. Jordan. Driving in. Stevenson finishes. What a great kick and dive and score for Kentucky State. Jade Patrick on the other end. Here's Terrence Holt. Oh, three-pointer, that's no good. I know he is frustrated. That is the second time that I'd even watched where he got hit on the wrist. But the referees, like I said, they're calling this one close. Full court lob. They've got Lane disorganized here. And Kevin Hayes is going to draw the foul. I tell you what, Kentucky State is doing a good job. They're... Lane has to do a better job of getting back on defense. They're running. Kevin Hayes, the 6'7 junior out of Detroit, Michigan, at the free throw line. Couldn't get the friendly bounce on the first attempt. As Tevin Roberts from Memphis checks back in. Second free throw is also no good. Jade Patrick with the rebound. I wonder what they're going to do down here on this drive with this possession. Here's Sanders. Bringing it up top. James Smith Levy draws the foul. You know, Lane does a really good job of getting to the basket. And you know what Kentucky State does a good job of? Blocking their attempts. <laughs> Jade Smith-Levy will shoot two free throws when we come back from this media timeout. We'll be right back after these messages from the WLCD station.
música de Harry Frog. La música de Harry Frog. Welcome back to Lane College. The Dragons trail the Thoroughbreds 16 to 13. James Smith Levy, the 6'5 senior from Jackson, Mississippi, is at the free throw line for two shots. Let's see if he knocks it down. And he misses the first shot. And I told you earlier, Julian, it's so important to knock these free throw down. They're free. Yeah, you called yeah, you called it, partner. And you also said that free throw that free throw attempts are gonna play a big factor in a game. As Smith Levy goes one for two at the free throw line. This is gonna be a close game, which is the reason why those free throws are gonna play a factor. Here's Ray Kroon on top of the circle. Ray Kroon drives in and draws the offensive foul. Way to get it in position to draw that offensive foul. Here's Lane College on offense, Jade Patrick, guarded by Kroon. Brown Sanders nearly lost the handle. He'll give it up to Roberts. Tevin Roberts, spin move. And somehow knocks it off a Thunderbird. Man, I'm so Thoroughbird. I'm so impressed with these handles and these spin moves and these just oh wonderful plays that both teams are putting on. Here's Sanders for three. Rattles out. Here's Stevenson with the rebound. I tell you what, Sanders missed, but he will hit those when he can. Jordan wasting no time, and he'll give it up to Ray Kroon, who gets fouled. And that was a smart move by him to get to the rack, as we've been saying over and over today, getting to the what? To the free throw line. The Detroit native will go to the free throw line again. Money on the first one. Dewan Curry is going to check in for Jalen Lewis. Second free throw attempt is money. Largest lead of the game at four for the Thunderbird, for the Thunderbreds, Thoroughbreds. Nobody can pronounce that. <laughs> Here's Patrick, nearly stepped on the line, but drives in and couldn't finish as he tries to get it to Curry. And I think they stepped out. But Barron is, is going to step out of bounds and give it right back to the Dragons. He tried to stay in. He tried to stay in, but that back foot just slipped out. Roberts, the inbounder. Shantz is Sanders. Jade Patrick. Facing up Ray Kroon, and he'll drive it up, and he'll get the bounce and the foul. That was a great move to get closer to the basket, to get, allow himself to have a high percentage basket, which he was able to capitalize on. That was a really good play by him. Jay Patrick, the senior from Nashville, Tennessee, at the free throw line for Jackson, I mean for Lane. We're in Jackson, Mississippi, so I guess you can call him Jackson. <laughs> Free throw attempt is good. As they cut into the lead, a one-point lead for the, Kentucky, for the Kentucky State Thoroughbreds. Here's Jordan. Dorian Jordan. Free throw line, Jay, that's no good. Rebound, Jade Patrick, wasting no time. Slips past the defender. And he'll feed it outside. And now to the inside. It's no good as a three-point shot from Sanders rims out. But the offensive rebound goes 
to Tevin Roberts. They have to capitalize off of that turnover. Another crossover. Sanders nearly had it stolen away. He gets it back and feeds it to the inside. And this time, knocks it away. Here's Jordan. I think Tevin Roberts had it, then stepped out of bounds. Look at the hustle. Look at the will. No one's giving up. Oh, they had Lane disorganized <laughs> as Detalian battle finishes. They hit him with a quick one there, folks. Here's Sanders. Roberts now gives it up to Hope. Now back to Sanders at the free throw line. Terrence Hope now back to Sanders. He, he tried to get it to Patrick. He had it stolen away. He skied up there for that interception. Wow. And another steal. And another steal. Here's Roberts in the up court. Wide open. Terrence Hope finishes. All right, Julian, it's all right. Calm down, calm down. I know you got excited. <laughs> I thought he was gonna die. I thought he was gonna dunk it in. Yeah, me too. Inside battle, that's no good. Rebound to Juan Curry. Patrick dribbling in. Euros and finishes. It looked like he hit him with a little fillet. <laughs> You are very, very funny. Hey, man, you gotta, you gotta have fun. You gotta have fun. You have to. Here's Jordan. Side wing battle for a three. That's no good. Here's Roberts on the other end. Roberts does it himself, but that's no good. And a travel is gonna be called against Darian Jordan. I'll tell you what, Julian, these guys, they have me pumped up. I might want to go play some blacktop <laughs> basketball after this. <laughs> Miles Lee spots up for a triple and hits it. And Julian, I keep telling you, if this man is open, good night. Forget about it. He's going to knock it down every time. As Battles being double teamed, slips out and tried to finish his, but Sanders finishes for him. That's a really good follow up from Sanders. He was able to snag that ball off the rim and tip it back in. Here's Roberts on the other end on offense. Now here's Terrence Holt. Tried to feed it inside, but he knocks it off. Off of Stevenson. We have another close game here. And we can see why they're both close. And we have another close game and another media timeout. A media timeout. Uh, Lane is leading 24 to 22. We'll be back after these messages from WLCD. Attention students, basketball season is about to start. Don't miss your chance to be a part of Lane College media team as we cover the game all season long. Welcome back to Lane College. Lane is leading 24 to 22. Julian Atkins alongside DeJohn Mitchell. And Lane back on offense. And an offensive foul away from the ball. 
And it was probably good that it was an offensive foul because it looks like that would have been a turnover and an easy loose. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Now here is Kentucky State on offense. Felix Wilson. The they're like the going to press. They're going to press a little bit, Julian. Now on the double team. Here's Battle. Back to Wilson. Here's Beering. Beering inside. That's no good. Terrence Hope with the rebound. Really good rebound there by Terrence Hope. Now ditching outside. Miles Lee. That's no good. Rebound <laughs> Beering. He was getting ready to bring the crowd down with that three-point shot. And another turn. Whoa. Yes, we do have another turnover. An offensive foul. It's going to be called against Battle, they're going to say. Knock down Tevin Roberts. Let the bodies hit the flow. Six fifty-two left to go in the first half. It's twenty-four to twenty-two lane. Here's Roberts. Now fighting Ooh. out of the screen. He might have got away with a travel there. Yeah, he probably did. And a turnover and wide open space. And Beering lays it in and the foul. Oh, man. These two teams are going at it. We have action. A lot of action here in the first half. They're doing a good job of getting to that free throw line. Reggie Breeden, the senior out of the senior out of Louisville, Kentucky, at the free throw line for a three-point play. And miss fires. Rebound Curry. Tevin Roberts. Across the timeline on the move. Now gives it up to Lee. Now to Holt. Inside pass. And another dribble by Terrence Holt. It's rejected. Oh, me, oh, my. He said to Kimbo, no, no, no. Here's Stevenson. And a foul is going to go against Lane. Dewan Curry. I have seen a couple of blocks so far. Was that 24? Was that 24, Michael Stevenson? Yeah, that I believe, yeah, I believe it was. He skied up to take a lot of blocks this game. And boy, oh boy, I know his coach is loving it. I think that foul was actually on Miles Lee. So what's your take so far, Julian, on, on what's going on? These teams are going at it. That's what's going on. And it's <laughs> a lot of action. As Hayes misses both free throw attempts. Here's Patrick. And Breeden knocks it out of bounds. It'll stay with Lane with 18 seconds left to go on the shot clock. You cannot get locks of days ago with passes like that. That can turn into an automatic turnover. You cannot. Tevin tried to look inside but looks outside to Terrence Holt. Now Holt making people miss. Nice ditch pass inside. And a foul's gonna be called. <laughs> so at 24, look, Michael Stevenson, this guy from Kentucky State, he's giving, he's giving uh, number 21 from Lane a look like, man, why did you put that up on me? But you know, you got the foul call and he's going to the, to the free throw line. Brandon Dan. Dan Saw, the sophomore out of Antioch, Tennessee, at the free throw line, misfires from the first attempt. And he misses both free throws. And out of bounds, it'll stay with the Dragons. You know, I, a, I don't understand it, Julian. You know, I, I, I don't understand it as from a, from a basketball player 
free throws are free. Free throws are free. You got to at least hit one out of the two. Am I, am I correct? Right. You are. They're free. What other free shot can you take other than a wide open opportunity? Got to capitalize on those. He'll fresh, get it back. Fresh shot clock for the Dragons. Here's Dewan Curry inside. Fakes the defender. And he'll knock it out of bounds. Good hustle, good hustle there from number 11, Kevin Hayes. He's doing a really good job of staying active on the boards. Roberts is going to inbound. Here's Terrence Holt for three. That's no good. And the rebound. They're going to say it was last touched by Jalen Lewis. These teams are doing a really good job, man. They're going back. We're still tied up at 24-24. Here's Breeden. He'll feed it inside to Hayes. Now dishes it out to. Now back to Jordan. Jordan spotting up for a three, and it's good. 27-24, Kentucky State. Even with an unorthodox shot, he was a little hesitant at first, passed the ball, got the ball back, and he took the three. Good shot. Here's Roberts from Holt. Holt nearly lost the handle as Roberts tried to get it back to him. Here's Roberts on the top of the circle. Now Roberts driving in. And a foul is going to be called on Hayes. And you have to like what Lane is doing. They're getting the ball close enough to the goal to where they can have, a, like I said, a high percentage of a shot, and they're getting to the free throw line. Jalen Lewis out of, a, out of Atlanta, Georgia is at the free throw line for a pair. Let's see if he can capitalize on these free throws. And the first attempt is good. And free throws are a big factor, as you said at the beginning, partner. Very huge. I would like them to see him knock down this one. And so I think free throws are also just more so about concentration, just focus. If you focus in on, on what you're doing, sometimes I know it can be pressure. Got to knock them down. Jalen Lewis on the second attempt, and it's no good. Rebound breeding. One of two at the line is Jalen Lewis. Dorian Jordan controlling the show on top. They'll feed it to Breeden, spotting up for a three, and that's no good. Rebound, Dewan Curry nearly had it, but Patrick took it away from him, and now a steal in the open court. Here's Black Stevenson, and he'll get fouled, and will go to the line for a pair. Steven is a senior, 6'5", 210 from Houston, Texas, and he's definitely showing that he is physical. Stevenson is an absolutely amazing player to watch play. First free throw attempt rims in. Three point lead for Kentucky State. 4.07 left to go in the first half. Second attempt is money. Four point lead for Kentucky State again. Here's Patrick. On the top of the circle, crossing the timeline. Now Lewis, back to Holt. Holt driving in. He'll ditch it out to Curry. And Curry has it rejected again. That's Stevenson again. He's he's telling people, do not bring it in here if you're going bring it in there stronger than that. Michael Stevenson draws the offensive foul. I think they're discussing it. Yes, they are. It's an offensive foul going to be called against Michael Stevenson. I think they're also going to take a timeout. Uh, they'll, they will take a timeout as we will. We'll be right back after these messages. What time you got to be there, huh? You ain't James Bond. 
You ain't some GTA character. You are not on Fast and Furious, okay? This is real life, and you are a normal pedestrian. Look at a speed sign, all right? Turn off that radio. Pay attention so you don't end up killing somebody like this fool almost did to me. This message is sponsored by Lane College. The power of potential. And remember, drive carefully. Come on a journey with us to... And welcome back to Lane College on the the Lane College Gymnasium on the campus of Lane College. The Lane College are trailing the Kentucky State Thoroughbreds 29 to 25. Really good game so far. I'm just so impressed with how both teams are playing. Holt feeds it outside to Patrick. Patrick. And a three-point attempt, Jade Patrick. Good shot right there by Mr. Patrick. Bearding, a deep three-pointer. That's no good. Wouldn't fall for Jordan. Now here's Patrick again, spotting up for a two this time. That's no good. Re rebound on the other end. Now here's Bearding. Breeden driving in, and Battle couldn't finish. Gotta Another finish inbound, that. Lee. Here's Terrence Holt, faking and driving in and scoring. Lee change, Lane back on top. Good job, 2-3, way to get to the basket. Really good job. Two minutes and 30 seconds and counting left to go in this first period, this first half. Breeden. Leaves it inside, Wilson. Here's Jordan spotting up for a three, and that's good. I think they might want to step out on him, Julian. <laughs> I was just about to say, if you leave Felix, if you leave Dorian Jordan at the free throw, at the three-point line, wide open, you're asking for trouble. Exactly. Looks like we're having another timeout here. Another timeout called by a team. And what do you like about what do you like about this game so far? I mean, I'm loving the way. Welcome back to Lane College. Before we went on break, he was asking me, how do I feel, feel so far about the game? I think this game is just being well played. A couple of few minor mistakes here and there, but if you look at the execution aspect of the game, uh, both teams are definitely did a good job. An offensive foul probably on the screen from Brandon, from Brandon, the Dan, Dan So. Brandon Dan So will probably commit the offensive foul. Here's Kentucky State back on offense. Yeah, Jordan. Three pointer, no good by Wilson. The coach did not like that three point shot there. Here's Holt in trouble. Forcing one up. And drawing the foul. Felix Wilson's going to draw that one. <laughs> he actually initiated for people to move out the way so that he can drive to the basket. And look what he did. Kind of an ISO situation if we're on the, back, if we're on the blacktop. Exactly. Terrence Holt, the junior from Nashville, Tennessee, at the free throw line. And the first one is money. 
I would like him to see. I like to see him make both here. I keep talking about free throws. Got to make free throws. Second shot. Just taps in. And that's good. Here's Jordan. Band double team. Brady lost it, but knocks it off of Jade Patrick. And you look at the hustle, Julian, that Lane is doing, getting back. They're running after every single ball that's loose. Yes, they are. Jordan to inbound to battle. Back to Jordan. Jordan dribbling in, and Tevin Roberts snatches it away. I just talked about it, and we might have a three here. A three-pointer is no good, and it's going to be out of bounds off the top of the backboard. Boy, would that have brought the house down. Probably had to rebuild it bit by bit <laughs> if that would have hit. I like that one, Julian. I like that one. <laughs> the roof would have been blown off this place. Here's <laughs> Wilson. To Breedy. Wide open battle for three. That's no good. Roberts the rebound. Here's Roberts. Here's Holt. Driving in, but not connecting. Did he try battle. To, did he try to throw it off the backboard to himself? I, be I believe he did. Oh, man. Breedy. Short range jumper is short. And a battle for the rebound. And it will knock it out of bounds. It will go to Lane. David Jokes checked in on me. What do you Four, 40 seconds left to go in the first half. We have a tie game, folks. A tied game. 32 to 32. Both teams. Well, Kentucky State is in the double bonus. Lane is in the bonus. Terrence Holt not connecting on that one. Flying in to corral that rebound was battle. The Talion battle. The shot clock is off. They'll have chance for one more play. I'm thinking three-point shot. What are you thinking, Julian? I think the same thing. Here's Jordan driving in against Roberts. That's no good, but a push-off, I believe, is going to be called against Jelks. It is. And Lane will have a little time here. Actually, they're going to they're gonna go to the free throw line oh. as they're in the double bonus situation. Oh, and the coach, is not, the coach from Kentucky State is not happy with that one at all. He's talking to the referee. He's not happy with that call at all. David Jelks has a size advantage. He's six foot seven out of Conyers, Georgia. Brandon DeSaw not able to connect on the first free throw attempt. The big, the big fella has to take his time. He missed two last time he was at the free throw line. And the second one rims out as well. Barron tries a three-point attempt from way down court. It's going to be off target, and that's going to be the end of the first half. It's deadlocked 32 to 32. We'll be right back after these messages from the WLCD station.
Attention students, basketball season is about to start. Don't miss your chance to be a part of Lane College media team as we cover the game all season long. Why are you doing all this speeding? What time you gotta be there, huh? You ain't James Bond. You ain't some GTA character. You are not on Fast and Furious, okay? This is real life and you are a normal pedestrian. Look at a speed sign, all right? Turn off that radio. Pay attention so you don't end up killing somebody like this fool almost did to me. This message is sponsored by Lane College. The power of potential. And remember, drive carefully. All right, folks. It is halftime, and we do have the halftime stats. Come My name is Dijon Mitchell, and I'm going to start off We're going with the guys who are leading. And first, with Kentucky State, we have Michael Stevenson, who is leading with 13 points. He also had a follow with that with two blocks. Seems like he had a couple more, Julian, because he is blocking the ball all over the place. And when we get to uh, their shooting, they're shooting around 37%. Um, and then we have... Of the Terrence Holt from Lane College with a total of 12 points. And he's put it on the show so far. And Lane is shooting uh, about the same area around 35%. So, you know, with that, we're about neck and neck with everything. We have a tie game. They're shooting about the same amount of percentages. Free throw attempts are about the same. What else is your other take on the game? Discipline and focus and aggression. And all and both of, both of these teams are coming are coming together with that. I mean, they're showing they're showing promise. It's a tie game. It's deadlocked at 32, and there's plenty of time. There's another 20 minutes left. They they don't need to panic at all. They don't need to change anything. Obviously, because the game is tied, they don't need to change anything. Work with your game plan and flow how the game is being flown. And I definitely agree with that. Both teams are getting such good looks. Um, it's just all about execution that we talked about in the women's game. Uh, I believe they're both playing really well. Um, like you said, it's neck and neck. Both teams, you just, you can't, this is, what more can you ask for in a basketball game? What more can you ask for uh, in the basketball game? This is very, very physical. Now we'll take a, a timeout here, a uh, media timeout. We'll be right back. We'll be back after these messages from the WLCD station.
And welcome back to Lane College. It's deadlocked at 32. The start of the second half begins now. I am looking to so much in this second half. Hopefully they keep it up. Both teams are just playing remarkable at the game is tied up. This one could go to the wire. The game is already intense. The thoroughbreds make their way to court as Kandarius Ash will take it out in front of us. go and on to the second half here's Tevin Roberts oh back to Ash Roberts again here's Miles Lee dribbling they'll give it up to Roberts Lane is coming out running an offense here's Tevin Roberts nearly lost the handle but couldn't get the friendly roll but there is. That's Brandon Dan Dansall. Brandon Dansall with the offensive rebound. He did a really good job right there of being active on the glass. As he was able to, of course, like I say, it's my. I think it's becoming my favorite line to say the free throw line. I think it's becoming my favorite thing to say, Julian. Brandon Dansall, the six foot seven sophomore out of Antioch, Tennessee. At the free throw line, hits the first one. And gets the second one. And now another lead change, 34 to 32. Let's here's, see what Lane has here defensively. Here's Jordan, back to battle. Back to Jordan, right back to battle. Julian, I think they're playing a 2-3. Stevenson can't connect from three-point range. Rebound, Ash. Ash wasting no time. Dribbling in, here's Miles Lee, and he draws the foul. What I really like right there from Ash is his ability to be able to push the ball, even at his height. A lot of uh, big men aren't able to dribble the ball that way, but knowing how basketball has evolved, he fits right in. Six foot seven junior out of Decatur, Georgia. The six foot two redshirted sophomore to Hughes, Arkansas at the line for two. And he's money on the first one. As you said, free throws become a big factor in this game. Breeden picks up his second personal foul. Second team foul already for Kentucky State as Miles Lee knocks down the second free throw. And the coach from Kentucky State is yelling out what play he wants, and he wants it because he has yelled it out plenty of times. He's still yelling it. <laughs> Here's Battle. Right side wing, top of the circle to Jordan. He'll give it to Hayes. And a jump ball is going to call, be called. And the possession arrow will stay with KSU. And I think that was the right call from the referee there as Lane was able to get their hands on the ball as he went for that layup. Jordan will inbound. And had it tipped. Brini couldn't connect on the three-point shot. Ash pushing it up front court. Spinning away from Jordan, finding Miles Lee. And Ash gets the offensive rebound. And now Terrence Holt can't connect. And now Ash is going to be fouled by Dentalian Battle. I'll tell you what, Kendarius Ash is an amazing player. 
at his height. He's an amazing player. He's having a great day today. I'm telling you, he is very aggressive inside that paint and his ability to dribble. And now a foul, an offensive foul away from the ball. Maybe it was the screen set by Brandon Desar. I know the coach is not happy with that. He's looking at his assistant coach right now of what was going on there. And that's all right. Have to learn. Brandon Dansall with his third personal foul. Now on the other end, here's Miles Lee. Or check that battle. Feed it inside to Brini. Front court. Here's Ray Kroon. Not connecting. Kendarius Ash, who else with the rebound, but he stepped out of bounds before he could save it. And there he is again, Mr. Ash. He's around the ball. He's, he's everywhere, folks. Fresh 30 for KSU. As Ray Kroon will inbound for Kentucky State. Jordan, battle, no good from three-point range. There's Ash again, pushing I, it up front court. I don't think the coach wanted him to take that shot there, but he must have felt good about it. Feet inside, and that's Brandon DeSaw atoning for a foul earlier. And that was a good put up. Stick with it, big fella. Stick with it. Greeny nearly lost it. Ray Kroon inside. No good, but the finish goes to Kevin Hayes. Both teams are doing such an excellent job of attacking the rim. They're sticking with it. This is the reason why they're able to score. This is the reason why the game is so close. Tevin Roberts. Now to Terrence Holt. Inside to Ash. Take a couple of dribbles. And he'll get fouled by Brini again. And who else other than Ash is going to the free throw line? He is putting his all in today's game. They'll give Brini three fouls. Kendarius Ash, free throw line is good. On the first free throw attempt. The junior out of Decatur, Georgia. Wow, I wish that, you know, I wish I was blessed with that height. Six, seven. <laughs> oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen, six, seven, six, eight. It's just a blessing. Money from both free throw shots at the free throw line. Brady, baseline jumper is no good. Rebound. There's that guy again, Kendarius Ash. Who else? Ash nearly lost it. He'll feed it inside to Terrence Holt. Can't connect on the reverse layup. Here's Roy Crone on the other end, coast to coast. Really good job of driving to the lane. Controlling his body for a nice, easy deuce. Canarius Ash. It will count. And Canarius Ash has been all over the place. Who else? This guy is playing like he is up to no good. <laughs> and we're going to take a media timeout. On the floor, media timeout. We'll be right back after this word from the WLCD station.
Welcome back under the gym lights of Lane College Gymnasium. Kendarius Ash, the junior out of Decatur, Georgia, will attempt two free throws or attempt the three-point play. No good. Oh, my goodness. He almost got the ball back. Yeah, almost. That would have been really nice. Here's Ray Kroon inside. Not finishing. Here's Jade Patrick. And another feed inside. Who else? Ken Darius Ash. Ken Darius Ash is doing such a wonderful job once again. On the other end, here's Jordan. In outside to Kroon. Back to Jordan. He'll dribble it inside. He kicked it. It'll stay with Kentucky State. Hayes to Jordan. To battle. Back to Kroon. He lost the handle, but they say they're what they say he's gonna get fouled by Terrence Holt. Yeah, and I think they might have got that call correct. I tell you, the way this game is going, you just you don't know what's going to happen. You obviously, you honestly don't. Here's Jordan. Outside Crone spotting up for three. That's no good. Terrence Holt. On the other end. Hold in trouble. They'll give it up to Sana. And, oh my goodness, Terrence Holt put the hammer down. That was an easy dunk. On the other end. Jordan. Easy and they were not on the same page as they turned it back over and commit a foul. Oh, me, oh, my. This game is just its crazy. Dorian Jordan with his first foul of the game. Here's Patrick. Outside of the circle. Holt, spotting up. Oh, and knocks oh. it down. Oh, he's he's feeling it. He's feeling it right now. 2-3 is feeling it, and I'm feeling it. 12-point lead, largest lead of the game for either team. Got to make a stop here. Here's Ray Kroon. Top of the circle. Jordan can't finish. Patrick. Oh, deep three, no good. <laughs> Pope is, he's he, he, he checking, he checking. Kroon. Stevenson inside to Kroon. And a foul is going to be called. And I don't agree with that one, and neither does the crowd. I don't think nobody agrees with that one, Julian. The fans are up on their feet. They're going to call it on Ash, his third and third team foul for Lane. Ray Kroon at the line for Kentucky State, knocks down the first one. It's getting loud in here, too. Kroon, second shot. Good money. Want to see what Lane does here coming down the court at this stretch. Patrick inside to Ash. Ash dribbling in. Trying to ditch it out. Nice feed inside. 
And an easy finish for Josh Smith-Levy. That's how you get that done. What execute. Oh, and they're running. Kroon missing on the other end. Three-pointer is good. It a is, shot to Sanders. It is on and cracking here at Lane College. You hear the fans. It's on. And a timeout called by Kentucky State. We'll be right back after this break from the L from the WLCD. Why are you doing all this speeding? What time you gotta be there, huh? You ain't James Bond. You ain't some GTA character. You are not on Fast and Furious, okay? This is real life, and you are a normal pedestrian. Look at a speed sign, all right? Turn off that radio. Pay attention so you don't end up killing somebody like this fool almost did to me. This message is sponsored by Lane College, the power of potential. And remember, drive carefully. on a journey with us to a world connecting you to your college. With a world that is changing at a rapid pace and is technology driven, the Mass Communication Department provides valuable news and information to the public. Providing commentary, entertaining through film, radio, television, you can count on the Mass Communications Dragons to keep you on your toes and in the know of the latest activities going on on campus on all social sites. WLCD, the voice of the Dragons. Welcome back under the lights of Lane College Gymnasium. The place exploded with a three by Sanders. Feet on the outside. Here's Kroon on the ditch and putting the hammer down. And this place is nuts. <laughs> it has wings. Wow. Are you wow? It has went crazy here. Fans have to fans have to calm down. Fans have to calm down. Oh my goodness. Ray Kroon. Can't connect on the free throw attempt. And a tie up gonna stay with Kentucky State. I am so mad that I missed what happened. <laughs> well, Ray Kroon just dunked on somebody. That's what happened. That's why this place exploded. And this place is going banana still. This place is nuts. <laughs> the DJ is playing. <laughs> the referees are trying to figure it out. What just happened? Wow. Oh, me, oh, my. Ray Kroon went airborne and put the hammer down. Gotta love this. Wow. <laughs> I'm, everybody, it's just, it's, I mean, it's just a sp speechless moment. It was complete. It was absolute chaos in here once that happened. Here's Ash. Trying to calm things down a little bit. Guarded by Kroon. Ash will dribble in. Will get his own rebound. 
Can't connect on the second chance opportunity. Rebound goes Kentucky State, Ray Kroon. He's in dodge, ditches it out to Stevenson. Oh man, this game is just, it's just picked up after that dunk. The intensity has just picked up even more. Wow, it is complete chaos in here. Go Euro and ditch it out. Oh, and, and back that... inside Ray Kroon. He'll go to the line for two. And actually, that's Stevenson. That is Stevenson. We talked a lot about him earlier. And a full timeout is going to be called by Kentucky State. And wow, fans are asking us to go back, but unfortunately we don't have replay. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's talk about what just happened. Well, <laughs> well I want to see the replay as well, because I didn't even get the chance to see it. Well, Ray Kroon went airborne and slammed it right on a late college player and committed and drew the foul, which was very impressive. And that's why this place went absolutely berserk. And the fans are still asking me for a replay. And I still believe it's a little bit of chaos. Oh, this gym is actually kind of pumped up. And we're back to basketball now. Michael Stevenson from Houston, from Houston Texas at the line for two. And Julian, I know it's funny. They're still asking me for a replay, Julian. I don't think they're going to let it go. Unfortunately, we don't have replay. <laughs> We're not ESPN or CBS but, uh, yeah, or right. Fox. Yeah. Well, we're glad that they enjoyed it. That's the main thing. <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to replay it again, you can watch it again on YouTube. And there's Stevenson at the line. Second shot is good. And able to cut into the lead. 12-point lead for the Dragons. Ash up front court. Now to Patrick. Sanders. Gives it inside. Jade Patrick finishes. And the foul. And that was a great opportunity for them to get an and one, especially to calm this crowd down a little bit. People are still hyped off the dunk. That's a good job of laying and getting back down and taking care of business on the basketball side. So to complete the three-point play, Jay Patrick misfiring. Have to make those free throws. Those free throws are very important, especially at this time of the game. Sanaw, Ray Kroon, good. And things are getting a, a lot closer and a lot quieter. And I think Ray Kroon is feeling it. He's heat checking. Here's Patrick inside to Ash. Smith Levy. Josh Smith Levy. Baseline Jay, no good. But the put back in by Terrence Holt is good. That is good. Oh, there goes Kroon again. Kroon inside, no good. And they take it right back. And a rejection by Smith Levy. This game is so intense, you cannot blink without something happening. And a pass inside, stolen away. 
Here's Krohn again, nearly lost it. Feet inside, Stevenson can't connect, but it goes over the top and out of bounds. And as the ball is inbounded to Lane College. Goodness gracious, Julia, what? I mean, what a game we get to call. This is a game. <laughs> yeah, this is a game. And I tell you, that dunk by Ray Kroon should be a top 10 highlight on SportsCenter. And you know what? I have a feeling it might make it there. It just might. Me too. Under 10 minutes left to go in the second half. Here's Sanders. Ashanti Sanders driving in, ditches it out. Smith Levy can't connect. They're driving. Here's Jordan. And he'll draw the foul. I think what the assistant coach is saying right now that you have to get back from Lane. He's saying you have to get back. There's a couple of times number three has gotten the ball and he's pushed it fast. He's not looking back either. Not at all. Thirteen point lead for the Dragons. Darian Jordan, the senior out of Cincinnati, Ohio, at the free throw line and not connecting on the first attempt. A lot of missed free throws in this game from both teams. Second shot, good. Able to cut into the lead, 11 points, 12 point lead. And a hand check foul is going to be called against Dorian Jordan. And the fans, they were even calling it for the refs. They're saying, why is he on him so tough? 18 fouls for Kentucky State. And the bonus is Lane, and Tevin Roberts hits the first free throw attempt. Let's see if he makes the second one. Second one, good. 14 point lead for the Dragons. I expect Lane to try to increase their lead here. Dribbling inside. Whoa, and I, I, the crowd is saying that he could have traveled. Battle did not travel. He dribbled and then shot it. All right. Inside feed to Lewis. And he had it knocked away by Michael Stevenson. He was a little like some days ago there, Julian. I mean, he just took it right out of his hands. The tempo has definitely slowed down a bit. Good Ditch swing. out to Kroon, and it's good from three-point range. This guy, Kroon, he is not giving up. He's back on defense right now. Ashanti Sanders can't connect. Here's Ray Kroon on offense. Ray Kroon, coast to coast, and it's good on the foul. This guy is on a mission. Kroon. Remember the name. Ray Kroon, a 6'6 junior out of Detroit, Michigan. And now they're going to attend to Kroon. Maybe a little blood issue. But I think. That's a big necessity to their offense. Most definitely. And I understand, I don't, I don't know, everything plays a factor. If you see the tempo, everything is a little bit slower right now, Julian. And we're on, we had a nine point game. Blink of an eye. Uh, I think they're gonna call a timeout here while they attend to Kroon in the locker room.
All right, we're back to basketball now. Felix Wilson, the junior, the junior out of Lexington, Kentucky, is going to take the place of Ray Kroon. In the bonus situation. Can't connect on the first free throw attempt. Here's Ash up front court. Lane is Roberts. the ball. Roberts gets it from Holt. He'll feed it inside to Ash, who almost lost it. And Ash dribbling in and laying it in. They're doing a really good job. Here's Jordan. Right swing. Back to Jordan from battle. Jordan driving in, ditching it out. Three pointer, no good. That was a good pass there. Uh oh. Here's Miles Lee. And hammering it down. And they are raising the roof. The fans love dunks. I tell you, they love them. High flyer. Here's Jordan. Lewis. Back to battle. Back to Lewis. We'll make that Wilson. Here's Wilson for three. And he's money. Way to come back after the dunk and respond with a three-point shot. Kendarius Ash brings it up front court. No drive inside, trying to feed it to Holt. Trying to give it up to somebody. Here's Roberts. Back to Ash. Ash spinning and laying it in. Kendarius Ash. Really good move there by Kendarius Ash. He likes that spin. Fadeaway shot. Brady Wilson. Jordan. Back to Wilson. Freeney, no good. And a rebound battle for it. Coming out with it is Ray Kroon. Actually, that's Stevenson. And he misfires from the layup. Wow. I mean, what a, what a game. Kendarius Ash inside. And he'll go to the free throw line for a pair. I like what Kendarius Ash did there. But it was one thing that I picked up on, and he kind of stutter step instead of just driving when he initially had it. But he still was able to get to the line. And a timeout on the floor. They'll take a timeout, as we will. We'll be right back after this message from WLCD. Are you doing all this speeding? What time you gotta be there, huh? You ain't James Bond. You ain't some GTA character. You are not on Fast and Furious, okay? This is real life, and you are a normal pedestrian. Look at a speed sign, all right? Turn off that radio. Pay attention so you don't end up killing somebody like this fool almost did to me. This message is sponsored by Lane College. The power of potential. And remember, drive carefully. And welcome back to Lane College. The Dragons pouring it on. Canarius Ash is having a remarkable game. He'll be at the line for two. And you know who else is having a good game? Mr. Kroon, Kroon guy. And he's back in there. Well, he's uh, about to check back in here. <laughs> Five fifty-one left to play in this one. First attempt. Money. 
And guess who's checking back in? Ray Kroon. I think Ray Kroon, he, he's, he wants to take over this game. And so does this man, Kandarius Ash, who's had a really solid game today. They're putting it on for the teams. Second free throw attempt rattles in. And here's Jordan. Dorian Jordan Dorian, on offense. Dorian has done some good things today. Three-pointer, one fall for Felix Wilson. Here's Tevin Roberts across the timeline. Expect, La expect Lane to run their offense this time around. Ash. Ditches it outside. Holt thought about it and ditched it to Roberts. Here's Ash now, inside. Now dribbling outside. Two on the shot clock, and a shot clock violation. It'll turn right back over to Kentucky State. Kentucky State, I think they're trying to run their offense, but they have to move quickly if they really want to get back in this game. Three-pointer was blocked by Holt. And he gets the rebound. Holt, ditch, no look pass, oh. and an easy finish. Dewan Curry. And what I like to say, filet, yeah. Good job, Robert, number 11. Here's Dion Dorian Jordan on offense. Now Ray Kroon, weaving his way through traffic. Driving in and now ditching it out. Brini. And a blocking foul is going to be called on Dewan Curry. I think the referee, he, he didn't know for sure if he wanted to make that call, but he made the call. And that will send Kentucky State to the free throw line. Reggie Breeden. Out of Louisville, Kentucky, hits the first free throw attempt. Second shot, good. Well, we have a 14 point game. A 14 point game, full timeout called by Kentucky State. What do you expect to see in this in this final four minutes? Well, I think as as the players go to their bench, for Lane, I think it's more so controlling the ball, controlling the time, still putting points on the board. You don't want to play too conservative. When you play too conservative, you can lose. So it's more so about the execution factor. And we'll see what happens. You're right about that. And you just have to calm down if you're if you're Kentucky State. There's plenty of time left. You're not in any type of rush. And you know, just run your game plan. That is true. And Kentucky State, they're doing so many things, right? It, it's I think it's more so you have the credit lane on how they're how they're playing. Uh, Kentucky State, you know, they're 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 right there. But Lane has just done a, such a great job with executing, as I keep saying. And that's why they have the 14-point lead. Great to have you with us. Julian Atkins alongside with John Mitchell on this thrilling Saturday night here in Jackson, Tennessee, Kentucky State facing Lane College. And Lane College has to break a full-court press. Holt, guarded by Breeden. Here's Holt, now outside to Ash. And I think they're doing what I said, they're really trying to control this clock. 
And an over-the-back foul, I believe, is going to be called on Ray Kroon. Yeah, Julian, as you can see, they're not in a rush. They're not in a big hurry. They know they have a 14-point lead. And then on top of that, where do they go, Julian? To the free throw line. I believe that's Dewan Curry. The freshman forward out of Detroit, Michigan. First free throw attempt is good. Second one, not so good. Off the mark. Dewan is a talented freshman. I think Lane should be excited for what he can bring to the team. Here's Wilson. Now to Jordan. Back to Wilson. Dishing it out to battle. Inside feed to Stevenson, and he'll get fouled. Very unselfish play by number five from Kentucky State to pass that ball. It looked like he had a, a clear and maybe a good shot at a three-point shot. Yeah. Immediate timeout. Immediate timeout. We'll be back right after this message and a word from the WLCD radio station. Welcome back to Lane College. 3.37 left to go in this game. And unless Kentucky State does something here, the Dragons might run away with this one. Might yeah. run away with their eighth win of the season. Kentucky State has to play with a sense of urgency. If they really want to get back into the game, this game, they got to move. Yeah, move you, quickly. Yeah, you called it. Sense, sense of urgency. Michael Stevenson, the senior out of Houston, Texas, at the free throw line. And miss fires. And that's not what you need. If you're Kentucky State. Not at all. And, I mean, these guys have missed so many free throws, and I know they practice them. But you become vulnerable to the other team because the other team says, you know what, we'll take that chance and foul them and put them in the free throw line. As he connects with that one. He goes one of two from the line, cuts the lead down to 14. Roberts being pressured. He'll give it up to Ash. Outside feed. Miles Lee. I, I've said it from the beginning of the first quarter. If you leave this man wide open, he is a sharp shooter. He will knock it down. Here's Jordan. And right back at you. Brini and a steal. And another three-pointer sh shot was no good by Ray Kroon. And they did a good job of beating the pressure there. And there he is again. Miles Lee, no good on that free throw attempt. Three point attempt, I mean. And a foul is going to be called against Kentucky State. Yes. Foul is going to be against. Felix Wilson, that's his third. 10th team foul for Kentucky State. And 
And then the double bonus is Lane. Why well, I'm just I'm I'm still stuck in amazement of how these players have come together, man, and play this game. Second free throw attempt is good by Dewan Curry. And I think they want to score quick here. They really want to get back in this game. They and Jordan driving in. And finishing was Michael Stevenson. It was a really good pass. Oh, wow, they are beating Here's the pressure. Feeds it inside to Curry. Inside to Terrence Holt. And another foul is going to be called against Kentucky State. Smart play. Smart play to get to the free throw line. And you know, as a as as a coach, well, if I was a coach, what I would do in this situation, Julian, once I get past the pressure, I'm setting up. I'm, I'm relaxing. I'm relaxing until this clock is running. And I'm not saying what he did just now was wrong of going to the lane. But what I would do, I would I would definitely run this clock because they have the lead and they could potentially have the win in their hands. Terrence Holt, not Mariah Hopkins, is at the line. Terrence Holt connects on the first one and the second one. Here's Jordan. Dribbling in. Now ditching it out. That was all that was dangerous. They'll ditch it back to Jordan. Skip pass. Brady. Brady spots up and knocks it down. He got the friendly bounce. You know, I really like the way number three plays. Uh, from Kentucky State, Dorian Jordan. He wants to get everybody involved. He is a true point guard. I love the way he plays. A lot of hustle, a lot of determination. It's everything you want in a point guard. Jay Patrick controlling the show, trying to run down a little bit of clock. Here's Terrence Holt. Driving in, not finishing. He gets his own rebound and a fresh 30 there you go. for Lane. There you go, slow it down. He said, slow it down, slow it down. They're running the clock. As they have a 14 point lead. And if that score shows, they can continue to win this game. Shot clock inside of 10. With two to shoot. Kendarius Ash connects. Really good possession right there. And they take it back with a steal. Jade Patrick. Maybe a 21 second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Kentucky State. Is going to fall to 6 and 14 as the Dragons will get their eighth win of the season. Kendarius Ash making moves and not finishing. Whoa, me, oh my. What a game. What a game it was. Lane is going to take the win. 79 is 63. What a game, Julian. What a game this was. It had a lot of action-packed things. And in two seconds, the game will be history, and it is. So the final score is 79-63. to 63. Kentucky State fought hard. They surely did. And you know that somebody has to be the loser in this one. Unfortunately, somebody has to lose. Luckily, luckily enough, it wasn't Lane. But Kentucky State, we got to tip their, our hats off to them. They played a really, really good game. A very good game. And oh my, man, I'm just, I'm just so excited. I'm, I'm still mad that I was unable to see the dunk. But it was just a, amazing to watch this game, watch this game play out. Yeah, and that dunk by Ray Kroon set this jam off. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that, that definitely changed the tempo of the game, the dunk. 
I'm, st- I'm still mad that I missed it, Julian, and we don't have replay. <laughs> I did not get a chance to see it. Unfortunately, we don't have replay, but yeah. we're not ESPN. <laughs> what it's do you a, expect? We're not. We're not. But I just want to hey, I really want to say uh, that guy, it, it was a couple of standout players that we had. And uh, starting with, oh, let me get the right sheet here. The big, Kendarius Ash. I'm not sure how much he finished with. But he put on a show. We're going to get the stats here in a minute. He, he put on a show, and uh, that I'm telling you uh, right now, 22. Who is 22? He, he put on a show. That's a Miles Lee, sharpshooter. He, he did a great job. Oh, man, that was a great game. That was a wonderful game. And if you missed it, then you can watch, rewatch it again on YouTube or the Lane College uh, athletic page. Exactly, exactly. As we uh, approach, well, as the stats are approaching us right now, as Mrs. Peters hands it over. Yeah, how about you read those stats? Oh, I'll read them off, man. I'll read them off. Well, let's <laughs> let's start with the let's start with the high high point. And actually, in this one, the high point man was 16. That was Felix Wilson from Kentucky State and Lane College we had 20 points and that was who else? Kendarius Ash. Kendarius Ash. He did a really good <laughs> job today man. I, I'm telling you I tip my head off and right behind Kendarius Ash it was um, Terrence Holt. Yep. Terrence Holt had a good number 23. I said 23 was putting up a productive game and Lane was able to close it out with a double digit margin. How about that? Yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, next time next time you'll see us, it will be against Central State from right here at Lane College Gymnasium. Thank you for tuning in, and have a good night.